Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another reflection with Char. Um, guys, don't mind my hair. I literally just took out my cane rose. So if you see a bit of dust or see a little bit of sign, don't mind it, you know. In today's reflection with Char, we are continuing with the I am not a partaker series. You know, so <clears throat> in this one, I'm going to be talking about being a oh, oh yeah 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 I'll call you right back believer <laughs> if any of you guys know okay like let's say for example I'm one of those people yeah where sometimes I'll say I'll call you back and I end up not doing so it's not because I don't want to talk on the phone or whatever sometimes I just get I either forget or I just like become occupied with something else but like i know there's some people out there as well like some of you you say yeah 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 yeah, i'll call you back in five minutes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then you don't and that's absolutely fine <laughs> because we're all human i suppose we all get occupied we all forget do you know what i mean and whatever reasons that you guys do it as well but one thing that i've realized is the fact that we do that with god a lot oh yeah, 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 yeah. like god is calling on you he's calling to hear your voice maybe you haven't prayed he's calling to to, to be in your space, to invade your space. He's calling to for you to pick up your Bible and read it. He's calling for you to seek his face. He's calling for you to be used in a generation where everything is becoming so dark. He's calling you to rise up and walk and do what exactly what you need to do. He's calling you to, you know, do what you gotta do. But a lot of us are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, God. Yes, I'm going to do it ah god let me call you right back and we don't we don't call back we don't call back we don't give him we don't give him the time of day and the thing is god is not anybody he's not that friend that you say you'll call back he's not that person where you say oh yeah like god you call me so you know i'll get yeah yeah i'm the one yeah yeah i'm gonna do that yeah yeah and then you don't like he's not one of those people it's like yeah jesus i'm there when you go <laughs> and i'm gonna be on time but you're never on time so what's the point <laughs> like why are you telling god that you're gonna be on time why are you telling god things that you're not going to do why are you you know the thing is yeah we need to get to the, the we need to get to a place in our lives where we say, do you know what God like? Never mind how I feel. Never mind my insecurities. Never mind my fears. Never mind whatever it is that is trying to stop me from accepting what you want me to do. Never mind what my parents may say. Never mind what my sisters may say. Never mind what my friends may say. Lord, when you call me, I want you to. I want to answer and act accordingly and take on that charge so even in first samuel chapter three obviously we hear um, we've we've read that well maybe we've all read it but if you haven't definitely go and read it because it's actually very very powerful but first samuel chapter three where samuel is being god is calling samuel he calls samuel and samuel's like he goes to eli prophet eli and he's like do, here I am. Did you call me? And then Eli's like, no, I didn't call you. So Samuel goes back to bed and then call, God calls him again. And then Samuel's like, Eli, like, like, what's going on? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're calling me like, like, hello, I'm here. And Eli's like, no, I'm not calling you. Obviously, read the Bible for yourself. This is just my, my, I'm just exaggerating it <laughs> but um and then samuel's obviously thinking that like, i keep hearing my name like someone is calling me but like who is it that's calling me and eli's obviously like no it's not me so obviously my man's thinking that like, who is calling me so the third time god is like samuel and then Samuel runs to Eli and he's like, Yo, like, what's going on? Like, Eli, like, you're calling me. You're calling me. 
So we're going to go to 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 8, which says, A third time the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. And that was the third time that God called him. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. Verse 9. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down. And if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. And this is exactly what I'm trying to speak on. A lot of the times, God is calling us or God is calling you to do something. God wants you to do something. Maybe he has a charge for you. Maybe he has an assignment for you. Maybe he wants to pick you for a season because he sees that you can possibly make an impact or he can use it as an instrument to make an impact in your generation, in your family, in your circle of friends, who, wherever or whoever God wants you to impact or whoever or wherever God wants to use you as an instrument or as a vessel to do his work he wants to call you but a lot of the time like i said a lot of us believers are like yeah god i'm always there when you go but i'm never on time and we're never on time because we let our emotions get in the way we let what we think get in the way and a lot of the time we don't actually understand that it's something that is 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 it's more than just us we think that oh yeah i can do it by my own flesh and my own power no it's everything god every charge that god gives you and this is something my spiritual father always says is a man's vision or someone's destiny or purpose is always much more bigger than themselves so god will never call you to do something that he knows you can do by yourself he will never give you a charge for you to do for you to take it on by yourself and then proclaim that it's you you're the one that did it on your own no because everything is to return glory back to him because he is god do you understand so i think that's what we fail to realize as believers like if God has given you a vision you're meant to be doing something so powerful and mighty obviously <laughs> God using you to do those powerful mighty things and a lot of people take it upon themselves to think that they're the ones that are doing it. No, God gave you the grace to do that, actually. It's God that's actually giving you the guidance and direction to do that. And that's probably, that's one of the reasons as to why some people step away from the court or get, or is completely ripped and taken off them. And that, sorry, I deviated, but that's what we keep doing we keep letting our emotions how we feel get in the way of what god is calling out for you to do it doesn't no god may not be calling you to be a prophet he may not be calling you to be a pastor he may not be calling you to be an evangelist but maybe he's calling you to just be an encouragement in your family be the light in your generation in the smallest ways that you know how maybe through I, I don't know, maybe even coming on YouTube and speaking to people, maybe even writing up blogs, maybe even just encouraging a ne your next door neighbor, maybe even feeding the homeless, maybe even cleaning your church where you, where you, where the saints gather like church. Maybe it's even just, you know, making sure that somebody's day is okay. Maybe it's just an assignment just to brighten up someone's day and somebody can feel the love of God being exhibited through you it doesn't matter what calling or whatever god is calling you to do but are you listening just like just like eli told samuel obviously after the third time but it, eli said to samuel no go back and say to god that speak lord your servant is listening are you giving your ear to the voice of god are you letting god speak to you and tell you what he desires for you to do are you allowing him to take his place are you allowing him to take the charge are you allowing him to take the direction of your life and, and what he's calling for you to do i don't know if this all makes sense but i can only hope and pray that it does make sense because god <laughs> god god help us but yes when you're saying, God, are you always there when you go? Are you going to be on time? Because if you're not going to be on time, then just forget it, baby. Oh. God bless you every time you watch this video. Morning, noon, all the night time. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.